Austin Rohr here, and today I've got my 2008 Suzuki LTR450. Now this thing's been a work in progress ever since I bought it, and last year I actually tore it completely down to the frame and rebuilt just about everything. So I'm gonna run through all that stuff today, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts. We'll start off with the motor first, which was built about two years ago. It has a hot rods crank paired to a 13 to one vertex piston and cylinder work stock bore cylinder. That's all being fed by a mildly ported intake and pro-design filter setup. In addition to getting better airflow, the billet intake ring and foam pre-filter help the motor breathe clean air by clamping better than the stock setup. For the exhaust, I went with HMS Competition MX Series. It's got a lot more tunability and it makes it easy to go from the track one day to a trail or dune the next. The clutch has been upgraded with a Henson basket. This is really essential for all Suzuki two-strokes and four-strokes. All of this is run off of the Yoshimura Cherry Bomb, which accesses a race map in the quad's ECU. These can be bought used or from a variety of other companies brand new. Other than that, it's been dressed up with CV4 yellow hoses, an H-Bomb clutch cover I found from eBay, and a yellow powder coat on the valve cover, which I think looks awesome. Moving on to the chassis, this quad has the Pro Armor Bully front bumper, Lone Star Plus Zero Sport A-Arms to replace the beat-up stock set, which have non-replaceable ball joints that had gone bad, and a new set of OEM shocks all the way around. For Nerf bars, I've got Pro Armor Revolutions, which are my favorite for the LTR due to rider position and a lower foot peg height. In the rear, I've replaced the worn OEM hubs with a set of Lone Star billet. All of that is being driven by JT steel sprockets and a DID X-ring chain. To protect the quad, I've added TM Design Works sliding guide kit, as well as their skid plate and an electronics guard from HEP. Now for tires and wheels, I went with a Gold Speed Victory Box kit. These wheels are great and feature a dual lug pattern to fit every brand of quad. Mounted to the wheels are GBC Bomb Squads, which are able to be grooved for just about any condition, and Sun F Frets, which are basically Maxxis Razors, with a different label and a much cheaper price tag. As far as handlebars and controls go, it's got Flex Bars paired with a Walsh Plus One Stem and Precision Pro Stabilizer. I can't recommend the bars and stabilizer enough, especially as someone who has a wrist injury. I picked up a set of Torque One lock-on grips for their single locking ring, as the setup with the handguards and everything doesn't leave a lot of room. Finally, I replaced the front and rear fenders with a set of Myers, which are a lot stronger than the stock set, and had them wrapped in custom Chaos MX graphics. I also freshened up the seat with this foam and cover kit from Quadtech. This is their Doug Guest Low Hump Kit and is very easy to install. Last but not least, a local company, PMI Truck Bodies did this amazing powder coating that really stands out and is super durable. But that's just about enough of me talking. I'm sure you guys want to see this thing in action. So I'm gonna throw some footage in there and then we'll come back with my thoughts. So all in all, I'm really happy with how this project turned out. The motor is smooth and reliable, but definitely doesn't lack on power. The bars, seat, and pegs all feel right at home to me when I sit on this thing. It's a Suzuki, so you'd expect it to corner well, and it definitely does. I can go inside or outside, and I always know that it's gonna hook up with plenty of traction and put me right where I wanna be. Suspension-wise, I've found that the stock suspension actually works quite well with the right adjustments. And although the fronts are a little harsh, that's my only complaint. Aside from that, it looks awesome. The graphics, the plastics, powder coating, and other little accents have all dressed this thing up, and I'm really proud of how it looks. If someone was to ask me if this project was worth it, I would definitely say yes. For being nine years old, this thing looks and feels brand new. By adding new parts and freshening up some of the old ones, I still feel that this LTR 450 is competitive with any of the other sport quads that are out there today. I want to thank everybody who made this possible, and I obviously want to thank you, the viewer. I'm really excited to put more seat time on this thing in 2017 and show you guys lots more. 
If you like this video and you want to see more of this quad in action in the near future, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, leave your questions and comments down below. Thanks for watching.